What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, the man welding. Maybe I suck. Maybe the haters are right and I suck. And as you can see today, we're gonna do a little bit more TIG welding. Specifically, I'm gonna run a T-joint using 3 8 mild steel. T-joints using the GTAW, AKA the TIG process are pretty easy, guys. The key to success with these is just don't overcomplicate it. A lot of beginner welders, they want to do everything in one pass, all right? They have no patience and they just want to come out of the gates weaving wide and that's not the proper way to do things. So whenever you're doing multiple pass welding, emphasis on multiple passes. It's not that hard, guys. Now, the common mistakes I see occur with beginner welders is you're gonna have to watch out for getting undercut on that top toe. Now, the best way to avoid getting undercut is to, you know, pause that tungsten for a second at the top and allow that puddle to really fill in. You wanna make sure you're keeping your filler rod in the puddle. Uh, for that second pass, I would recommend even holding that filler rod up at the top toe of that previous weld um, because you know the natural effect of gravity is going to have a small part to play so you want to kind of just hold that filler rod up a little bit higher and pause at the top if you're running way too hot you're going to get undercut so anyways that's enough talking let's jump in here and weld this first one i'm at 230 amps and i'm going to use a 332 filler rod and i'm just going to run that shit right in there I don't care how we get done, just get that shit done. Okay. Neo with some retros, luggage by Louis for tons. We shop when we get there, ain't nothing in the luggage but guns. Uh -huh. We spend dirty money on crystal clear rocks for fun. Fun, 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 fun. I take a trip. Blind, flash myself. It's horrible. Absolutely horrible. But, anyways, part of being a welder, guys, get used to it. It's gonna be hot, you're gonna get flashed. You're gonna have some good days and you're gonna have some bad days. You can't win them all. Okay, but now let's take a look at that machine, okay? 230 amps. Let's take a look at my torch. All right, similar to how I had it in the walking the cup video, I got that neck cranked all the way back. I, I am using a gas lens this time and uh, using the torch switch, all right? so. That's, a, that's how you operate the torch. We're gonna go ahead and leave the machine at 230 amps. I'm gonna let the plate cool off for like five minutes. I'm not gonna quench it or anything. I'm just gonna let it cool off. I'm gonna brush it with a steel brush and then I'm gonna come in and uh, put that second pass on. We come right back, flip the block just for fun. Fun, 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 fun. I told the plug him. You're always gonna have days where you messed up. Not every weld is gonna be perfect. I'm not perfect. You're not perfect, no one's perfect, so just learn to accept the fact that you're gonna fuck up sometimes. It's not the end of the world. Now guys, one of the most important things and eye-opening things I learned when I became a CWI is the fact that a weld does not have to be aesthetically perfect or even aesthetically pleasing for it to be a within code acceptable weld, all right? I think everyone's minds have been a little bit warped through Instagram and social media that like every weld has to look perfect or else it's a shitty weld. And that's very far from the truth. Now, of course, you wanna hold yourself to a high standard. You wanna strive for those beautiful welds. You know, I don't like laying down a stinker more than the next guy, but sometimes good enough is good enough. You know what I mean? So we're just gonna try to make this next one better. All right, let's get it. One more run then after that I'm done. It's the last time. You sure? And I'm done. Okay, I appreciate you. After this, I'm done. I might spend this on the charm. Fuck it. A different farm. Every day of the week in the slum. Fuck it. Motherfucking genius, cause my trap house going dumb. Uh. It feel like my heart ain't beating, cause that motherfucker numb. Uh. I got my old hoe for no reason. Call her friend out here, she call her. Carbon said she'll never leave me. Yeah, she with me right or wrong. Yeah. Every day I ask myself how many chain shit I put on. Uh. Should I go all white or go rose? 
Well guys, that was pretty bad. All right, not my best work, not by a long shot, but it's okay. Like I said, can't win them all. Sometimes you're just having an off day. Just roll with it guys. All right, live to weld another day. Don't be one of those people who cries and gets upset. Wham, I, why isn't my weld going good? Sometimes it's just not gonna go good, okay? That's what I'm gonna tell you because it could be for a million reasons. I don't know why your weld's not going good. Maybe you just suck at welding. Maybe I suck. Maybe the haters are right and I suck, but I doubt it. I'm gonna get back with you guys. We'll do another one tomorrow. Uh, you know, this whole like making video things, it's tough. It's fun, I enjoy doing it, but I'm still figuring it out. Uh, you know, I have massive respect for all the OGs who have been making welding content on YouTube. It is, it's quite the challenge, you know what I mean? So if you can do it, if you've been doing it, props to you, man. Uh, I'm gonna stick with it. I'm only gonna keep getting better. I'm gonna get better at making videos. I'm gonna get better at being an instructor. I'm gonna get better at being an inspector and I'm gonna get better at welding, all right? Because honestly, I feel so blessed to have this job because not only do I get to teach welding, but it's almost like I'm back in welding school. You know what I mean? I get to practice just like everybody else. There's certain things that I'm good at and there's certain things that I'm not that great at. So I need to use this as an opportunity to continue to grow as a welder and a fabricator myself, right? Something I always say is don't rest on your laurels. And that just means don't be the guy who's talking about what you used to do. Oh yeah, I used to weld pipe. Oh yeah, I used to could lay a slick bead. I used to be able to bench press 315 pounds. All right, that's cool. I mean, you know, everyone gets old, but what are you doing right now? I don't care what you used to do. It ain't about where you started. It's about where you finish, you know, it's not about where you're at, it's about where you're going. So with that being said, peace.